Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, God, for your presence in our midst tonight. Hallelujah. Let's pray, church. God, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lord, for your love, for your grace. So amazing, oh God. Hallelujah, that you took us out from the darkness, oh God, and gave us your light, your life, oh God. Hallelujah. And thank you, Lord, that when we ever we gather in your name, you never fail to meet us. Because that's your promise, Lord. Hallelujah. That you will be in our midst when we gather together in your name. Thank you so much tonight, Lord, and we pray for your holy anointing, uh, for your speaker, and for the hearers of your word tonight. Lord, speak to us. Let your word, O oh God, penetrate our hearts. Let your word, O oh God, hallelujah, change us, mold us, correct us, and strengthen us tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit that makes your word alive. Hallelujah. We give you praise and give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Good evening, church. We are reading from the First Corinthians chapter 4. Hallelujah. Let's read it together. From verse 1, it says, So then man ought to regard as servants of Christ and as those entrusted with the secret things of God. Now it is required that those who have been given a trust must prove faithful. I care very little if I am judged by you or by human court. Indeed, I do not even judge myself. My conscience is clear, but that does not make me innocent. It is the Lord who judges. Therefore, judge nothing before the appoint, appointed time. Wait till the Lord comes. He will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and it will ex- and will expose the motives of man's heart. At that time, each will receive his praise from God. Now, brothers, I have applied these things to myself and Apollos for your benefit, so that you may learn from us the meaning of the saying, do not go beyond what is written. Then you will not take pride in one man over against another. For who makes you different from anyone else? What do you have that you did not receive? And if you did receive it, why do you boast as though you did not? Already you have all you want. Already you have been become rich. You have become kings. And that without us. How I wish that you really had become kings so that we might be kings with you. For it seems to me that God has put us apostles on display at the end of the procession. Like men condemned to die in the arena. We have been made spectacle to those who to the whole universe, to angels, as well as to man. We are fools for Christ, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are honored, we are dishonored. You hear here like a sarcasm from Paul, right? (laughs) Hallelujah. To this very hour, we go hungry and thirsty. We are in rags, we are brutally treated, we are homeless. We work hard with our hands when we are cursed, we bless. When we are persecuted, we endure it. When we are slandered, we answer kindly. Up to this moment, we have become the scum of the earth, the refuse of the world. I am not writing this to shame you, but to warn you as my children. Even though you have 10,000 guardians in Christ, you do not have many fathers. For in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. Therefore, I urge you to imitate me. For this reason, I am sending you Timothy, my son whom I love, who is faithful in the Lord. He he will remind you of my way of life in Christ Jesus, which agrees with what I teach everywhere, everywhere in every church. Some of you have become arrogant, as if I I were not coming to you. But I will come to you very soon. If the Lord is willing, and then I will find out not only how these arrogant people are talking, but what power they have. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. What do you prefer? Shall I come to you with a whip or in love? 
and with a gentle spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The title of God's message for us tonight is Living by God's Power. Living by God's Power. Hallelujah. So we, we, we have been reading First Corinthians. Amen. And one of the issues that Paul um, addressed in Corinthians is uh, the division in church. Right? Especially whose leader is the best. Oh, I'm following Paul. I'm following Peter. I'm following uh, Apollos. He's probably better speaker than you. Something like that, right? Um, I'm, oh, I'm only following Christ. And there's a division in church. And, um, and, and we know that when there's a uh, division, the issue, is, the issue is usually where? It's the heart. Amen? The heart is anchored on something else other than Christ. That's why my division, my, my comparison. And it's also a sign of immaturity, di ba? Amen? Mas magaling si, si ganito. Amen? And so Paul addressed that in the church. First thing he addressed is that the centrality of the message of Christ. Amen? Christ and Him crucified is the central message of the gospel. Amen? Not only the cross, but Christ. Hallelujah. Amen? And so that's what Paul addresses in the book of Corinthians. And now he said, when, when you should regard us, you know, in chapter 4, us, what, what, did call, what did Paul call himself? So then man ought to regard us as servants of Christ, and those entrusted with the sacred things of God. And I learned that this, the word servants here, is the, the word used by Paul as a servant here, is not the common word for servant as the lowest servant, right? He uses the word servant meaning under oarsman or under rower or subordinate, amen? Uh, if you have that picture in mind, if he is an under rower of Christ, yung bang, yung have you remember how the ship in in the old days? Walang horsepower. This manpower. <laughs> Amen. And everybody like row. And the only thing that the rower hears is Right? You see that in the movies too, right? So they hear the drum beat. It the drum beat actually signals what they would do, right? Go forward. Go, go backwards, go left, go right. So that's that. And and and, I'm, and as I'm pondering the, about that, he calls himself as under rower, hearing only one drum beat. Amen. And it blessed my heart because Lord, for Paul, there's only drum beat that he would obey and he would trust the heartbeat of Christ, the heartbeat of God. Amen. The 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 drum beat or the will of God is what he will follow. Amen? And I was like, Lord, we know this already. Amen? Church, all of us know this. But sometimes we hear so many drum beats. <laughs> In fact, first we hear our own drum beat. <laughs> Hallelujah. But the Lord reminds us, Lord, Lord this is the... Uh, what, what an amazing example by Paul. Amen? That he hears only... Um, one direction, one drum beat, one heartbeat. That's the heartbeat of Christ. That's why he said, um, and, and he said that if he hears only one, um, and, uh, and as a servant who hears only one direction, one heartbeat, and it's just normal that he's the one entrusted by God to the secret things, to, to, the, to, 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 to um, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, about the word of God. Amen. He's um, he's so close to the heart of God that he hears, Hallelujah, the things of God, Hallelujah, Amen. And this is, and he is a man who is um, a servant of Christ, hearing only the heartbeat of Christ, and being entrusted of the Word of God, Hallelujah. And and as one who is entrusted. Sabi ni Paul, he must be proved faithful. Amen? He must be proved faithful. Kaya si Paul, 
remember in in First Corinthians chapter two, verse two. I think it was verse two. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Christ and Him crucified. There's the central. Kumbaga ang dala ni Paul is only the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He's faithful to the Master. He's faithful to the message of the Master. Hallelujah. And he he is careful to. To, to bring the message the way it was given by the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is a messenger from the Lord. Amen. He, he, he doesn't edit what God says. Amen. He doesn't add anything. And he doesn't take out anything. Make it a little. Lord, masyado yatang forceful itong word mo. Let's make it a little, right, a little friendly. Right now, he, 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 he brings the message of God the way, how, what God wants the people to hear. Amen? And I believe this is also a reminder for us today because um, remember that in the end times, people will flock for or will look for a preacher that will tickle their own ears. Even the Bible says that. Amen? So now we have churches who are filled with people who are tickled by, um, by the speaker. And how many are grateful for brothers and sisters in the Lord that as the, because of God's faithfulness, we are hearing God's word in this pulpit. I'm pray, I praise God for that. Amen. And there are many times when Pastor Alex and Pastor Ray or Sister Maya would speak. Uh, and it, even until today, Lord, you have spoken to them kasi nakalukay ka yung puso ko. Amen? Um, being turned upside down yung puso. Lord, I'm, I'm, how many are grateful for that? Amen? That when the Lord speaks through the messenger of Christ, He exposes the inner, hindi nila alam yun. Amen? Pastor Ray and Pastor Alex, I didn't know what my secret is, but the Lord knows. Amen? And because of God's faithfulness and their faithfulness to the Word of God, it really blessed. And it, it, it speaks to us. Amen? I praise God for that. That what they are... Because what we, what we need is... What I need is not what I want to hear. But what we really need is what God wants us to hear. What, what God's message is for us today, for me today. Amen? And, and um, that's how Paul, um, you know, uh, serves the Lord. He served faithfully. Hallelujah. He, 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 he brings the gospel. Kasi alam niyo po sa panahon noon, the cross is very, very offensive. It, in, in fact, Paul said the Jews um, and the Gentiles are, they said it's foolish. For them it's, wow, Why? Right? The cross is a symbol of death. Right? But thank God because, yes, the cross is a symbol of death. But when Jesus offered himself, the cross is no longer the symbol of death, but the symbol of salvation. Amen? Of redemption. Of, of, of the Lord. That's why in the cross, the Lord said, it is finished. Bayad ko na lahat. Hallelujah. Wala nang balanse. Hallelujah. I'm very grateful for that. Hallelujah. And uh, and for Paul, and that's why for Paul, his heart is, he does, it doesn't matter what people say. Di po sabi niya po, I care very little if I am judged by you. For, from, uh, from verse 3 to 5, it says, I care very little if I am judged by you or by human court. Indeed, I do not even judge myself. My conscience is clear. But, amen? So, um, for Paul, what is really important is God's estimation of who we are. Amen? Hallelujah. And it, it, it's, um, it's, it's, an, it's a, an encouragement, brothers and sisters, in the Lord. Well, first, first and foremost, for me as a servant of the Lord, as, as the one bringing the gospel of the Lord, there are many times, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, 
Hallelujah, that there are many times that the enemy still attacks the mind. Di po ba? Amen? Ako lang ba yun? There are many times that the, even even in your calling, right? That's why um, uh, if if the if the Lord attacks um, the the flock, the more kaya sa mga pastor. Amen. The more on the speaker of the word. That's why pray. Please pray for us too. We're praying for you, but pray for your pastors too. Amen. Because there are always. Well, um, an attack like of oh, you're you are nobody you are <laughs> amen and there there are even times where we're tempted to oh, Lord si ano na lang mag mag preach ngayon na lang. right but the, the the Lord is so faithful to to shut up the the you know the drum beats of the world hallelujah amen if he calls he will qualify. If we qualify, He will strengthen. He will strengthen and He will supply. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I, there was a moment, brothers and sisters, in the Lord, that Pastor Alex and Pastor Ray, ngayon na, uuwi na naman silang Pilipinas, kinakabahan na ako, Lord. But thank you because you're faithful. At one Sunday, one, I mean, Lord, I've been asking the Lord, what, I don't want to, I just, I just want to stand in front and, just whatever I want to say. So I prayed. And mag-alas dosi na ng gabi, kapatid, sabado ng gabi. Lord, 12 o'clock na, should I panic? <laughs> right? And the thing is, the Lord is so grateful, that uh, faithful, because Pastor Alex is not here, Pastor Ray is not here, so I cannot call. And Sister Maria was on somewhere else. I think they were uh, uh, having, uh, they were having an uh, um, uh, with with family members at that uh, at that time, and I can't call everybody, anybody. Lord, sinasatawagan ko. And you know what the Lord said at twelve o'clock at night. Sabi ni Lord, sleep, Lord, sleep. Why sleep? I need a message from you. <laughs> Amen. Sleep. I'm like, okay. So I slept. And God woke me up, I don't know what time, very early morning, and gave a message, a simple message from Him. And that's all that matters. Amen. And this is how Paul lived his life. Faithful to the message of the Lord. Hallelujah. And he, he's faithful only. Gusto ni Paul is that whatever I hear from God, that's it. Amen. I give what the Lord gives me. Hallelujah. I cannot give. Sabi nga natin, ikaw nga. Hindi ko pwedeng ibigay yung hindi binigay. Wala naman talaga akong maibigay kung wala si Lord. Ano po? Hallelujah. So, the Lord is so faithful. Hallelujah. And, and for Paul, that, that's why I hear only one one voice. Yung, yung approval ni Lord. Amen? Hallelujah. And um, it's not even just the, um, the, the, lalo na sa mga ginagamit ng Panginoon. Maybe a worship leader can, I don't know, Sister Josie can relate to this. Right? Joke na naman, worship, worship ka. <laughs> I, we laugh about it, but it's true. Amen? But how, how many are grateful that every time the Lord shows Himself mighty? Amen? And the Lord approves you. Like, stop complaining. I'm here. I called you. Why do you listen to anybody else? That's what Paul said. Don't hear. I don't hear what you say. I hear only what God say. I don't even trust what I say. Amen. That's why some people don't 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 judge early. As far as your calling is concerned, as far as your life in the Lord is concerned, walk with God faithfully. Amen. And just continue walking. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm like, oh God. In fact, when I was preparing this message. <laughs> but God is so faithful. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And and that's why Paul is so conf- I think the confidence of Paul in the faithfulness of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And and he even said that um, you know he uses himself as an example of how to walk in God's 
direction. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, he, he said in verse, I, I think, first thing, it says, Now, brothers, I have applied these things to myself and Apollos for your benefit, that you may learn from us the meaning of saying, Do not go beyond what is written. Then you will not take pride in one man over against another. Hallelujah. Totoo po yun. Amen. Um, there's, I, I, I love how the NIV said it because it says, do not go beyond what is written. Amen. The, the gospel is simple. Deliver it as the Lord gives it. Hallelujah. Amen. Kung anong binigay ni Lord, then don't, um, it, and, and, and that's the benefit. And, and in other words, my, my, I believe what why Paul gives this to the Corinthians because they are, tr- they, 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 they have the habit of as as carnal as they are, my habit sila na. It, it could be the marami silang sinasabi, right? Right, because that's that's what actually you get from chapter four. They talk too much, right? But Paul lives the other way. In in uh, we 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 gonna come to that a little later on. So Paul said, "Do not go beyond what is written." Para walang well, um, uh, no no um, how do you call it? No 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 boasting. Hallelujah, Lord! This is what. You, thank you, Lord, for the word. Hallelujah. And not just this is, uh, stick to the gospel, the simplicity of the gospel. And let the word of God be demonstrated too. Amen? In our lives. Amen? Doon naman talaga ang power ng word na hallelujah. How many are grateful po, mga kapatid, that when God speaks, He changes us. Hallelujah. And that's why you know there's power. Because He demonstrated in your life. That's how Paul operate in Christ. There is, hindi lang yung, um, He did not come with uh Flowering words, or oh, are maybe not it's so articulate, but it, but by the demonstration of God's power. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, and, and thank God because there is power in the Word of God, as the as the Holy Spirit makes it alive. Amen. As we rely on the Holy Spirit to speak. Kahit pala simple, kapatid, pagkasama si Holy Spirit, may tama. I mean, tatamaan. Hindi, hindi, may tatamaan ka talaga. <laughs> Amen? How many are grateful for that? When the, when the Holy Spirit speak, even if it's just a simple word, it will penetrate the heart. Hallelujah. Amen? And, and this is what Paul says to the Corinthians because uh, in, in verse 8 it says, already you have all you want, already you have become rich, you have become kings and without us, and that without us, how I wish that you really had become kings so that we might be kings with you. Now we see, we, we hear the sarcasm, a bit sarcasm from Paul. Akala nyo king ka na, parang gano'n no? Akala mo, kayo na yung pinakamataas. Sa Tagalog pa no? Akala mo, ikaw yung hari ka na. Akala mo na, ang galing-galing mo na. Parang gano'n no? Without, without even, um, without us? Parang, so it's like Paul is sarcastically saying, you even, you even uh, put yourself above your father. <laughs> Amen? Um, there's, there's sarcasm in, 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 the tone of Paul, but it's actually it's all it, it speaks to the, the situation of the time, amen. Um, uh, the, perhaps the, the 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 Corinthians are are um, the the way of their evaluation is through, but mayaman na kami, right? Look at the church is full, right? And the church is beautiful, something like that. You know, uh, we have a good, bu- nice building, and something like that, right? Well, but Paul is is uh, is kind of like pointing out to the to to the Corinthians that hey, you, you're you're judging according to the standard of the world. That's not right, right? Paul remind the church of, in, for example, in, in uh, chapter uh, verse nine to thirteen, it says, 
it seems to me that God has put us apostles on display at the end of the procession. Parang gano'n, no? Sabi ni Paul, like man condemned to die in the arena, we have been made spectacle the whole universe to angels and to all men. We are fools for Christ, but you are wise in Christ. Like there's, there's a note of sarcasm there, right? We are weak, but you are strong. You are honored, we are dishonored. Oh. Right? So, in, in other words, um, the, the Corinthian church must have been enjoying the, the approval of man. Kasi honored sila, si Paul hindi. Parang ganun, no? And, and I believe it's, 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 it's God's message to the church today, especially because this is a clear and present danger in the church today. Seeking to the approval of man. And we, and we become soft to sin, to, to the issue of sin, to the issue of sexual immorality, to the issue of marriage, or whatever it is that God makes, says it's holy. Magiging magkukompromise na. Amen? And I heard a very well-known uh, man of God, suppose, I, I, I hope he is a man of God, when he is asked, um, is the Lord, is Jesus is only the way to the Father? The answer is supposedly, oh yes, of course. Because that's what he said. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. And he fumbled it, and he, uh, 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 oh, well, you know, I cannot judge. Like, Wait a minute, that's what God said. And he has the opportunity to to speak to millions of people listening to that TV, TV station. Right? It was like, Lord, help us indeed not to, to, not to listen to the applause of man, but listen only to the approval of Christ. Amen. Um, not, uh, I don't know what's in his heart. Maybe natakot siya na, oof, if I say the truth, half of my church will go away. Something like that. I don't know, right? But not, there's, there's fear in, in, in saying what the, the truth is. That's why Lord help us. Amen. To, is, to, to look at to Christ and not to... And, and, and the problem with the Corinthians is they think they are, they are, they are really okay. They're honored and Paul, uh, look at that, Paul, my, our, our <laughs> Paul, the apostle, is not even dishonored. Right? Because Paul is faithful to the message of Christ, even if he loses everything. Wow. Right? Even if he loses his own life. That's actually, Paul is kind of like speaking here in prophetic, right? Like, because that's what happened to him. He became a martyr. In the Lord, Hallelujah. He was not. He was faithful to the measures of Christ and to death. Lord, help us, Hallelujah. That even in the face of severe persecution, Paul delivered the message the way it should be. And by the way, brothers and sisters in the Lord, we are entering in that. A time period where in a country where we say a land of freedom, you, you are seeing the, um, the animosity of the world uh, on the message of Christ. Hallelujah. Grabe na pong galit ngayon. Hindi lang sila ayokong makinig. Like there, there's, there's a growing uh, anti-gospel sentiment in America. And, but thank God, because if, if the Lord calls, Lord, kung sinabi mo, yun ang sasabihin namin, oh God, help us to stand, even if it, um, if, even if, it will call for jail or hallelujah, or death. The Lord is faithful. Amen. And if, if you, I know you heard the testimony of Pastor Alex when he was in the jail being beaten. Somehow the Lord gives him the strength, right? To withstand. Iwan ko kung nakailang palo si Pastor doon. 
39 ba ba, sir? 39 every week? <laughs> every Friday? I don't know how many Fridays. Right, but the Lord supplies the strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Parang, I believe um, one of the, I believe it was Polycarp in his 80s or matandang matanda na siya. He was asked to recant. No, he cannot. How can I recant to my to to the uh, to, uh, to to love of my Savior into, until the end? But even in his death, even his death spake volume to the people around him. <laughs> Hallelujah, Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And this is what Paul reminds the church today. Uh, Lord, help us not to be to become crowd centered, but Christ centered, cross centered. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And, and, and verse fourteen to fifteen, Paul said, "I'm not writing to shame you." Paul was writing his letter a little bit sarcastic. But Paul said, I, want, I'm not, I, don't, I don't want to shame you, but I want to warn you. Amen? He wants to warn the church, to remind the church, to reprimand, to direct, to scold in love. Amen? That's why every time I hear a very um, uh, convicting message from the Lord, I praise God. Because sabi ng promise naman ni Lord, those whom I love, I will discipline. Salita pa lang yun. Lord, mas mabuti yung salita pa lang, makinig na kami. Amen? Huwag naming antayin yung palo. Ngayon pa lang, pag nakinig na, uh, when you hear the word of God, now, do not harden your heart. Hallelujah. Amen? And I, so, I'm, I'm forever grateful of the Lord. That when our, our pastor, or even sister, our pastor and sister Maya speaks, there are many times like, oops, Bakit nila alam yun? I, and you know, it's, it's the Lord speaking. Amen? And, and I'm thankful for that. Hallelujah. Because if, if the Lord doesn't discipline you, then you're not part of the family. Amen? Lord, I want to be part of your family. Hallelujah. Thank you for um, the correction, oh God. Hallelujah. And Paul said, I am your... Uh, you know, you, even though you have many guardians in Christ, I have become your father through the gospel. It was Paul who preached the gospel to this church. And, and so be, Paul is their father as far as in faith. Hallelujah. And look at this, brothers and sisters. Lord. Paul said, therefore, I urge you to imitate me. Oh, wow. <laughs> right? Um, run away from, from that arrogance in your heart that you think you're better than anybody. No. Imitate Paul. Imitate me. That I, I, I'm, uh, I don't know about you, brothers and sisters, Lord, but listen to what Paul said because he, he didn't say, listen to me. He didn't say it. He didn't say it like that, right? But he said, imitate me. Sundan yung lifestyle niya. Amen. Um, in other words, he's not just giving instruction. Listen, church, this is how you do it. No. He said, imitate me. You see how I lived when I was with you. How did I live in, in, in obedience to Christ? That's the way we should live. And that's why he sent Timothy. Amen. And he, he was sending Timothy. And he even sent a person who has the same heart with him also. He didn't just send anybody. But he sent someone who had the same heart with him to remind the church how Paul preached and lived. Di ba yun yung pattern ni Lord? In fact, how he lived and preached dapat, no? Hallelujah. In, in Acts chapter 1, it, it says, right? You, uh, my dear two fellows, I have written to you or I've recorded the, the first gospel how Jesus, what Jesus do and teach. Amen? 
And it's, it's, it's quite a reminder for me, brothers and sisters in the Lord, especially as a father. As a fa- not lang a father of faith, but also I have a family that I should live, lead in the Lord. Amen? That not just instruction. I could instruct my children many instruction. Right? We are good, <laughs> we are good at that, parents, right? Oh, minsan, I see the eyes of my children, so much instruction. Doc, you see, right, Kenneth? So many instruction. Okay, this was like, <laughs> so many instruction. But it, it's, it's normal for us to just instruct our children, right? Of course, thank God for, that, for the instruction of my mom and, and my dad. But it is the lifestyle, really. That the, the lead your family in the Lord. That's why Paul said, imitate me. Follow my walk. Not follow my talk. Right? Kaya nga sabi, uh, ayoko maging katulad ng Pharisees, brothers and sisters in the Lord, because the Lord said to, 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 to the people, uh, okay, listen to what they say, but don't follow what they do. That means, <laughs> what's, what's the for, right? Amen? Uh, but, well, but Paul said, give, Paul followed the ex- very example of Christ. He did it, and he preached it. Hallelujah. Amen? You cannot just say love. Dali kayong magsabi ng love. How many, right? Brothers and sisters, this is the Lord, right? How many of us said, Mahalin mo kasi? <coughs> Lord, nakakabilawak. <laughs> Mahalin mo na lang kasi. But when, 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 when nandiyan na yung situation, like, ah, Lord, help. <laughs> Amen. God help us to truly indeed live the way the way you live. Hallelujah. Kaya sabi ni, 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 ni John, if, if you say you are in Christ, if you say you are living in Christ, if you, are, you say you are one with Christ, live as Christ lived. Hallelujah. Amen. Especially brothers and sisters of the Lord, bilis bilisan natin kasi um, uh, we are running out of time. Our fa- many of our families still not saved, and we we're walking as if we own time. Right, Lord, help us indeed. Change us, Lord. Now, I can, but you can. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, that we would be an example of no, Lord. Help us not just to, 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 to preach love, but to give love. Amen. Help us not just to preach forgiveness, but live by forgiving others. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's the the pattern of Paul followed. Hallelujah. In, 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 in verse 18, some of you have become arrogant. Many in the Corinthian church have become arrogant. Maraming salita. Right? But I will come to you very soon. If the Lord is willing, then I will find out not only who, how these arrogant people are talking, <laughs> right? but what power they have. Sabi ni Paul, makikita, makikita naman tayo eh, by God's, God willing, and we will see who, what these people, what are these people talking about, or how they truly live. Amen. Kasi sabi ni Paul, di, sabi ni Paul in verse twenty, we end here, brothers and sisters of the Lord, for the kingdom of God is not a matter of talking, but living by God's power. Amen. As I look for the kingdom of God is not just a lot of talk, but it is living by God's power. How, that's how the NLT rendered it. Amen. Lord, we are so good in so good so good in talking. If you want us to, sometimes we can talk forever, right? Forever and ever and ever. Talking and talking and talking, but Lord help us, not just talking. Because the, the, the NLT actually said it this way: "For the kingdom of God is not just talk." Wait, wait. 
Mali yung pagkabasa ko. Let me read it again. For the kingdom of God is not just a lot of talk. <laughs> right? Ganda na pagka simply, simply said by the NLT, right? The NLT said, For the kingdom of God is not just a lot of talk, it is living by God's power. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Lord, not a lot of talk. There's so much talking. In fact, brothers and sisters in the Lord today, there's so many talking. Right? And and in fact, that's what we hear. That's what. That's why. Uh, thank God for the internet for 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 hearing the message of the Lord through the internet. But there is no. Um, anong tawo to? Walang kapalit. Walang substitute when people come together in fellowship. Amen. Because that's where we truly are exchanging life. Right? When I speak to Pastor Alex, sometimes he doesn't know it. I just keep quiet. Well, Lord, oops. It's me. Right? When I talk to Pastor Ray, I thank God that they, not, they do not sugarcoat truth. If it hurts, it hurts. Praise God. It hurts because it's true. Right? Like, ooh, Lord, that was me. Thank you. Amen. Lord, but, but help us not just talking. Especially, you know, we can talk in church. We can talk, but when, when fellowship comes, when there is... Don't, don't nakikita, no? Right? When there's fellowship. And when there's... When you're... When you're, when you're um, how do you call it? When, you're, when your patience is tested. Right? <laughs> don't lalabas yung talking and leaving. Is that... Is this really true? Or you just a lot of talk and there's no life? Amen? Especially true inside the house. Hallelujah. Lagi ko pong nababangkit. Amen? Inside the house, there's no more, or sister, or brother. Oh, I don't call my wife sister. Right? Paggalit, Joyce. Right? Uh, and I know if my wife is not happy with me because he, he says my full name. Mr. Dio, my Mr. Pa. Mr. Lionel Lorenzo. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> right? There's no more facade. And you know what, brothers and sisters in the Lord? Lord, help me to lead a life living in, by the power of God. Because that is what being seen by my children at home. Amen? In fact, it will just annoy your children if you talk too many good things about the Lord and then your life is away from it. Nobody will listen to you anymore. Right? They will just... Re- instead of... Uh, instead of... Anong tawag doon? Instead of... Uh, to welcome them... Alam mo, kapatid, magiging para kang layon katol. Repellent. <laughs> right? Magiging repellent ka. Instead of inviting... Uh, to, you know the, the presence of, of God in your in your midst, na magiging repellent kasa family. Hallelujah! That's why God, thank you for the simple message from the Lord tonight. Amen. What is important is not just a lot of talk. That means we need to talk. How many? Amen. Because because faith comes by hearing and hearing from the Word of God. Yes, true. But not just a lot of talk, but by living in God's power. Lord, help me to demonstrate that to my wife, to my children, to my in-laws, to my mom and dad, to our neighbors, hallelujah, to our fellow brothers and sisters in the Lord, hallelujah. That's why, thank God for the fellowship in the church. That's kaya hindi pwedeng online ng church, ano po? Hindi talaga pwede. If you're just online, uh, praise God, you will hear a lot of talk. But it is in fellowship that you will see life being changed. Hallelujah. Amen. So for those who are in the Lord, this is a, a loving reminder from the Lord. Don't just be... Don't... Wag kang magkasya lang. Amen. Just online. You come, come to church. Fellowship. Hallelujah. Amen. Fellowship in the church, in the ministry. Hallelujah. Come every Friday to join us in prayer. 
Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And thank you, God. Thank you, God, for your word tonight. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I love Paul, how he ends chapter 4. Like, gusto nyo ba pupunta ako dyan may palo? O yung pag may pag, may, <laughs> may love? <laughs> this is how Paul speaks to his children. Right? And I thank God that we have uh, fathers in the Lord um, that speaks to us like Paul. Amen? Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you for your word tonight. Oh, thank you so much for reminding your church tonight. Lord, not just a lot of talk, but living by God's power. Hallelujah. Lord, help us not just to talk about the word, but to live according to your word. Living by the word of God. Living by the will of God. Living by the power of God. Hallelujah. Through your Holy Spirit, O oh God. Help us indeed. Hallelujah, Lord. That our talking and our living agree. Hallelujah. And we know, Lord, that in, by our power we cannot do it. But thank God that you have gave us the Holy Spirit to be with us forever. To be our counselor. To, be, to remind us, to speak to us. Hallelujah. And, and to lead us, Lord. Correct us. Strengthen us in your word. Salamat, Panginoon. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.